Lately, I've been wondering if it's possible to see nothing. Is it possible for our human mind to actually conceive of nothingness? Now, you might be tempted to look up at the night sky and say, Look, Alex, look at the void, and tell me what you see. And I would have to tell you I see darkness. So, my question is, is darkness the same as nothingness? To answer this, I think we need to wonder what perception is. When I look at a red ball and a blue ball, what is the difference between these two objects? If you think in a scientific manner, the difference between the two is how they reflect light. One absorbs more light than the other, and thus the frequency of the reflected light is different. Notice the object doesn't actually possess the quality of color. The color is something that seems to be inside the light, and it seems to be imposed on the object from the outside, imposed from the light that touches it. But in actuality, the light does not have a color either. That is something the human mind attaches to it. Essentially, it's just different frequencies of energy in the same family as gamma rays and radio. The reason we see it in the way we do is because our eyes have cells in them that absorb light in a similar manner to the objects we are perceiving. These are called cone cells. When they're stimulated by the right frequency of light, we see color. Most humans have three different types of cone cells, one for each primary color. Many birds have four, which means they can see a set of colors that we cannot even imagine. So what does that mean about the ball in its base state? A ball without the additional element of light, without the imposition of the color our mind creates. Should we picture the world in monochrome? Should we picture it black? Or are these impositions just as illusory as our everyday perceptions of the ball? If I look at a black ball, I see blackness. It absorbs light and reflects nothing for my cone cells to receive. But I don't perceive a nothingness. I perceive blackness. I see the black ball just like I see the red ball or the blue ball. It's still in front of me. It's still perceived by my eyes. And to extend that, if I close my eyes, I see blackness. This doesn't seem to be the same as nothingness. My mind might associate the blackness with nothing, but I don't think it perceives the emptiness as nothing. It perceives it as black. Now, this might sound a little out of place, but Lakov thought that looking at the metaphors in our language was a good way to explore culturally associated patterns inside our minds. Uh, he thought it was a good way to look at internal schema. So, let's think about it for a second. How do we talk about darkness? We say it's thick. We say things like, I was swallowed by the darkness, or I was drowning in darkness. The mind seems to perceive darkness as almost a liquid, certainly something with semi-physical properties, which makes sense. We're very aware of things slowly seeming to disappear when the sun goes down. If I look at a black ball and I look at a red ball, they don't seem to be different. I perceive the shade of black very closely to the way I perceive red. I think black is a perception the human mind attaches to nothingness, a kind of placeholder, if you will, but I don't think it is nothingness. Much like we can't picture the colors a bird sees, I don't think we can actually picture nothing. But what do you think? Is my thought process off? Am I going a little too deeply into it? Am I simply wrong? Uh, let me know. How do you perceive darkness?